Uh, what's up scrappers? Uh, in this video what I'm going to do is determine the value of the power supply unit. Pretty standard one, no SATA cables, plenty of cable there. So I'm going to do this in three stages. Uh, going to weigh it how it is with the cables because my yard they take it as 15p a kilo with or without cables. So obviously it's worth taking the cables off. So like I said I'm going to do it in three stages. And uh, stage one will be how it is, stage two will be taking the cables off, stage three will be totally dismantling it and seeing what it's worth. Right, so how it is, basically, put it on like so, there we go, I already had it in, but, so, as in as it is with the cables at 15p a kilo this little beast is worth 29 pence so right now take this take the cables off and then uh, get back to you you don't need to see me doing that it's a boring job right so remove the uh, cables cut them as close as you can to there so I cut my cables and a power supply unit. So, like I said, they still give you the same price like this. So, at 15 pence, it's now worth 26 pence. So, it was worth 29p with the cables, cut the cables off, it's now worth 26. So, you lose 3p, but you got the cables, which obviously worth a lot more by the kilogram. So, I'll get rid of that. So the cables which come off there, so I totally cleaned them, taking off all the sockets because my yard just doesn't like anything with sockets. So clean them up, tidy them up. They're singles, so as they are, they go for £1.60. So £1.60 a kilo, so that's worth 24 pence then for the cable. So what's that? 26 so it's now worth 50p so just by doing that it's now worth 50p where it was worth 29p before so that took me what two minutes so I'm gonna take this apart and go a bit further into it and then see what it's worth whether it's worth just just to stop how it is or to carry on going right I'm gonna whip this apart I'll be back right so after doing a tear down we're left with four categories really so we've got cables steel motors which is like a transformer but they'll take it as a motor copper bearing and a low grade board which some people would take apart get the aluminium or aluminium off there but to be honest if you look the screws are all stuck in there and it's not really worth your time to get to it okay you can smash your board up because they take the board however it comes but to be honest i just leave it like that so uh, yeah, basically, by ripping it all apart, so the steel, that's now worth six pence for the steel as it is like that. So let's get rid of that. Whoa, dropping screws everywhere. Low grade board, and that's worth 15p a kilo, so that's now worth nine pence. For that board, then the motors or copper bearing that's worth 40 pence, so that's now worth 20 pence. Also, of them, um, some people they like cut off all the um, plastic in that, but to be honest, just chuck them in how they are, it's probably hard to get to take them. You think you take a big washing machine motor and it's got all the steel casing on there then you're gonna worry about a bit of plastic and then the cables let's get all the last little bits chuck them on there let's say because they're singles and clean they're worth 30 there we go Ooh, 32 pence for the cables so yeah, so after working it all out, <clears throat> if you leave it how it is, so 
basically don't touch it, it's worth 29 pence. If you just cut the cables off, it's then worth 50 pence. But then if you rip it all apart, how it is here, it's then worth 67 pence. So what, you make 17p by ripping it all apart. Okay, it take, took me, I don't know, three minutes. Probably be even quicker if you got a load of them. If I was gonna do it, I'd save up a load and then do them together. So, like I said, I'd probably go for stage two where you're just taking the cables off and do it that way. But I've said it in another video, is uh, checking the, where is it, the part numbers. If you know it works, go on eBay, just type in the part number, check that it's the same one, and see the value. Obviously you need to make sure it's working. Like, a lot of them are worth, I don't know, 10 to 15 pound. But some of them, you go on there and they're worth like 35 pound. So, definitely worth going down that route. I've got loads of them. I just kept them all, and I'm going to buy a tester. I think the testers are about 5 pound off eBay, or it might have been Amazon. So you can test it all out. And uh, yeah, and I'm gonna put them on eBay. Well, first I'll put them on Gundry, which is our sort of version of a uh, Craigslist. See if anyone locally wants them. And then if not, I'll put them on my uh, eBay and go down that route. But yeah, I'll have a breakdown at the end of the uh, video of what it all costs and how much money you can make at each stage. So yeah, I also wanted to show you. Scrapped out a PC yesterday, just a standard PC, and look at that for a heatsink. Pure copper heatsink, just a standard PC, nothing special. I knew the guy was into his PCs because he gave me a few spare parts as well. So, but yeah, if I weigh that, just that alone. Well, it's just worth over two quid, just that on its own, out that PC. So, it's extra value onto the PC. Right, guys, that's it for this one. Keep scrapping.